you're not going to want to miss this one. So I've been seeing a lot about smart cities, and I decided to do a little digging myself. According to the World Economics Forum's website, 36 cities over 22 countries are participating in these smart cities, but many more is to come. So what is a smart city? Smart city stands for Surveillance Monitoring Analysis Reporting Technology. Basically, a digital ID will be given to every resident that will track in real time all of their daily movements, their activities, their spending habits, um, even their carbon footprint. They will be given 15 minute travel times to complete their daily activities unless they have a permit. And if they exceed those 15 minutes, they can be denied access to their spending and their activities that they need to do for the day. So, of course, you're like, I'm not going to move to one of those cities, right? Well, here's the thing. Because of the laws governing the Agenda 2030 land development, the government can actually seize polluted lands and force the residents to move. So if the government deems the land and water around you polluted, they can force you to move from your homes to these cities. So all of these train derailments, food processing plant fires, and other ecological disasters that are happening, they're beginning to make a lot more sense now. This is what we've been saying from the beginning. Everyone's begging a billionaire to build a fence, a wall to keep all the cattle in. Watch. What was built to keep people safe is gonna trap them inside. This is Dembo in the reckoning. What was built to keep people safe is gonna trap them inside. What was built to keep people safe is going to trap them inside. And there you go. Now, if you find yourself upset because you think that these films are just simply made to troll Trump, you're still asleep to the right-left paradigm.